So in today's lesson, we're going to work with Willow and start to introduce the sit behavior. So in today's lesson, we're going to work with Willow and start to introduce the sit behavior. So what I'm going to do, since she's so small, is I'm going to zoom in on her so you don't have to worry about looking at me. So since she's learning everything, I want to make sure that even though I'm thinking I want to teach sit, I want to reward all good puppy behavior. So since I have food in my hand, I'm going to reward her for not jumping up to get it because that's part of that impulse control. So even though, again, we're, we're starting to think about sit, we're thinking about their whole life. They're always learning, so we have to take all the opportunities. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that you have a place that they can sit easily. So we have a rubber mat down here because we have slick floors over here. It's super hard on dogs to be able to hold that position with their feet because they want to slide. So we have the rubber mat to make it easier. Then the next thing we want to do is, good girl, is we want to have a reward that's valuable enough to your dog in that situation. So how I find that is if I can put that food to her nose and she will follow it along, then I know that that's an okay value that she's willing to work for. So you're going to take, your, you're going to take the food to your puppy's nose and you're going to slowly rock it up and over for them to look at the sky. And as soon as that butt hits, yes, you're going to yes and then give them a treat. That yes is telling them they've done it correctly. The reward is to follow. So we're going to go food to the nose, lure up, yes, but hits that ground, yes, and then the food's to follow. So she's following the food during this, but it's not delivered until that yes happens. So, ooh, gotta get back in the camera. <laughs> so food to the nose, lure up, yes, and then treat. And you want to keep that, oh, it's right there in the nose, there it is. You want to keep that treat real close to her nose, and you want to make that rock up real close, see, right there. So if I take that food and I go too high, my puppy's going to stand up. So we want to make sure that that rock is right at their nose. So if we're at the right position and we rock up, yes, there's no jumping up. If we're too high, choo, 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 choo. If we're too high, we start getting jumping up. So if you're getting that, you want to drop that food. So it's basically right at their nose and arcing up. And this is the first stage. So I like to do five reps if I can. So yes, and then treat, and then I'll get them back up by luring them. Yes, and then treat. Good girl. girl. And I'm not telling her sit. I want to work and focus on getting the behavior reliable and consistent. So all this stuff of her not sitting, I don't tell her no or anything like that either. I'm only going to reward what's right. I need to make sure that it's easy enough for her to be successful. So I'm going to try going right to her nose again. Yes! And then treat. So you saw that lift up of the paw. I'm going to try to fade that out and see if I can get a little closer to her nose. Yes! And we're lifting up, which means my hand is probably a little too tall for her. So you're going to practice this throughout the day. Um, I do tend to like to do five reps if I can in one session. Um, but if not, if you just do one rep and move on to something else, that's perfectly fine as well. But I think if you're able to do multiple reps at a time, the dog's going to be able to kind of learn yes! what it is that's paying off and do things like offer that behavior on her own. Yes! Good job! Good job! Yes, good job! She's like, I'm so smart. And also remember when you're practicing with your yes with your dog, short and sweet. So Will is doing this massive training session with me for the next hour or so. So she's going to be exhausted. She's going to probably not be able to think straight. So you're just doing little reps throughout the, throughout your day. Here's some crumbs. Crumb, 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 crumbs. Five to ten to fifteen times a day, depending on your availability. These aren't long training sessions. So if you do five reps of sit, you're talking 
what, what was that? Let's time it. 30 seconds? 20 seconds? So you're, it's not a long time. Uh, two minutes if they're challenged with it. So it's only taking little bits of time versus a big hour chunk because your puppy's not going to be able to do that. So short and sweet. So practice this week with the food to your puppy's nose, luring up, getting that sit to happen, and yes and treat. And then when we come back, we're going to work on adding the verbal cue to that, telling them what it is that they're doing, and then also fading the food from our hand. So, level one, butt on the ground, follow the food treat. Right? Right, Willow? Right, girl?